six months waiting since I was supposed to have it. On Wednesday, June 8th, I had my lymphedema surgery. At the hospital, getting ready to go into the OR. Well, hello guys. I feel like it's been forever <laughs> since I've seen you guys or picked up the camera. Um, there has been a lot going on. So I thought I would just kind of walk you through all the things. Um, firstly, I had a crazy month of May. And then uh, in June, I had my lymphedema surgery. So it went really well and we will get there. Um, but first, that last week of May, um, I had a friend come in, she stayed for a week. I had my first dance recital in 13 years. It was kind of wild. Um, I loved it. It was very nerve wracking, but it was so much fun. And my niece actually danced in the recital as well. So that was really fun to share with her. About the week after recital, we left and headed to Minnesota to go to Mayo Clinic. And on the way there, we of course hit Route 66 because you guys know that I love Route 66. And we stopped in Atlanta, Illinois, and they were having a car show there. It was amazing. It was like we had stepped back in time on the real Route 66. It was so much fun. I even got to sign. They had like a big Route 66 sign that I got to sign. So that was cool. So we got to Mayo, well got to Minnesota um, Sunday evening. We stayed at a cute little Airbnb. That was our first time we've ever done that. Really enjoyed it. My, it was called the library. So my room had like this big bookshelf, book, bookcase in it with like the window seat in it. It was great, it was wonderful. The only issue we had was there were glass doors to the master bedroom where my parents stayed and a glass door in their bathroom. So lots of privacy if you know what I mean. Uh, <laughs> that was that was interesting. But other than that, it was great. It worked really well. We were able to walk to the hospital, St. Mary's there and to Mayo Clinic. So it was perfect location. We had a lot of appointments Tuesday. I had like MRI, met with a surgeon. I had to get a test done that was super fun. Y'all, me and needles in the feet now. I don't know what it is, but they seem to like it a lot. But I had to get three needles like in the top of my foot. I got shots right here. Well, you can see on this foot. On bo both feet right here. Um, and they put like radioactive dye in there so that he could see where the good veins were and like the arteries just so he could kind of go ahead and make so he could trace like the lymph node vessels, kind of see what pattern they're making. Lots of fun little doodles on my leg. <laughs> and then I had like the MRI and I met with this doctor and that doctor and we saw GI and cardiology there as well. The best part was on Wednesday, June 8th, I had my lymphedema surgery. Oh, so six months waiting since I was supposed to have it and then just two years of having lymphedema and just like thinking this moment would never happen because there wouldn't be anything they could do. So yeah, it was just, it was kind of mind boggling. Um, here's a little clip before my surgery. Good morning guys, it's like 6 a.m. We're at the hospital getting ready to go into the OR for surgery. I'm excited and nervous, but it's gonna be great. So, it's gonna be wonderful. Bye. So, surgery went really well. He was actually able to find nine uh, lymph vessels, nine good lymph vessels that he was able to hook up to either a vessel or to a vein or an artery. And my leg looks really good right now, y'all. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, it's the smallest it's been in uh, two years, maybe. Um, it's crazy. I ended up being under anesthesia for like probably 10 hours, nine to 10 hours. 
and cause it, it, it was supposed to be like a five hour surgery and it turned into like an eight hour surgery. So yeah, it was very long waking up with a rude awakening. Um, I got sick and <laughs> uh, I'm still sore in places, but it's getting better and you know, it is what it is. But it, it took me a few days to completely recover. Like afterwards they had me sitting in a chair and my parents were in there and I was just like, I just want a Sprite. I just want a Sprite. I've thrown up, I need a Sprite. And the nurse goes, do you want something to drink? And I was like, yes. She's like, we have water? And my mom's like, she can't drink water if she's thrown up. I'm like, point one for mom. And she goes, we have Diet Coke and we have Coke. And I was like, I want a Sprite. And she goes, we don't have Sprite. And I'm like, I'm gonna die. This is the end, this is the end of my existence right here. And she was like, we have Sierra Miz. I'm like, that's fine. I will take it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I, but I kept falling asleep in the chair. It was, uh, it was so exhausting because they had pumped me full of like, you know, all this anesthesia and then all these nausea meds and I ended up having to take water pills a few days after surgery because I had so much fluid on my body. But we got home at like 10.30 at night. Like we got to the hospital at 5.45. I went back for surgery at 7.45 and we did not get home until 10.30. And here's a nice photo of me the moment we got home. Just flopped on my bed. That was all I could do. The next day we had to go see my GI doctor and we had to wait forever in the waiting room. And I was sitting in the wheelchair and I was just like, <laughs> took a really good nap. So when he found out I had had surgery the day before and that I might fall asleep while talking to him, he was like, it's fine. Just do what you need to do. <laughs> it's okay, thanks. But anyway, we saw the surgeon the week after surgery and um, then we headed home. So we have basically, recovery is four weeks. Um, I have to have it propped up. Can only walk about 10 minutes every hour. Um, and it is all wrapped up in my normal um, excuse me, that's my sock that I wear so I don't get it dirty. But it's all wrapped up in my normal wrapping that I would do. As you guys can see, and y'all y'all seen this before. Um, so, nothing crazy. And, yeah, it's doing, it's doing really well. So, I mean, two weeks in, and yeah, it's, yeah, it's crazy. The thing is, is that... Once I get back to regular activities, some of that may change. I'm hoping not a lot. But, you know, in the back of my mind, like, I know that. So, anyway, yeah, it's doing really well. And if you are, have lymphedema yourself and you're looking at options for surgery or trying to figure out doctors you could talk to, like, please comment below. You can also go to my Instagram. You can DM me. Um just just let me know i will let you guys know so yeah i just wanted to update you guys on all of that <laughs> you guys were with me when it all got canceled so i knew you would be excited to hear that it finally happened and all the things that went into it so i'm just feeling very grateful you know god is so good he is so faithful and i'm just like watching a miracle happen before my eyes and how he used all these people to make this surgery happen. And I just, oh man, y'all, God is good. God is good. So it hit me the week after surgery that like it finally happened. And I was just like ugly crying in the bathroom. <laughs> Happy tears, but I mean, I was sobbing. And I just kept thinking like, thank you, God. Like, thank you. You were so faithful and so good. And it finally happened and it's working so just everything i could hope and imagine for and and more thank you guys for coming on this journey with me through all of the craziness of lymphedema i still have it this is not a cure this is a fix um so i mean this could change at any time but things are looking a lot better as of now and this journey has taught me a lot. It has grown uh, grown me a lot, I guess. 
um, and just faith and trust and medical life and <laughs> all the things. I've learned a lot. So I'm very thankful for it. I know that this journey is not over. I know this is just a new chapter, but I'm excited to explore what this new season of life is. So thank you guys for coming along on last season of life and on this new season of life. So love you guys. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye.